Hey, Sean Freddy. I just got back from the store and... You okay? Five times in one day, Roxy. Well, what are you talking about? Five times in one day! Well, what's, what's going on? What happened? I'm talking about how police keep raiding our house. Again? What was the call about this time? They said someone made a prank call about someone starting to shoot up a school. We're not making jokes about that, by the way. That's awful! Why would I ever do that? Because of the controversy going around. What do you think? Okay, yeah, I know. The whole controversy thing, I get that, but the whole thing would just blow away in less than a week. It's going to be fine. It's been two weeks since this whole thing started, Roxy. Internet exists for a reason, okay? What about the kids? How are they doing? I told you you need to go to Fredericks and stay with Fia for a few weeks until this whole thing blows over. And Raven? She's scared for her life at the moment, Roxy. Oh man, I can imagine how terrified she is. Well, you've been with Francisco fighting crime out there. I've been dealing with constant threats. Okay, I know. I'm sorry for leaving you here and dealing with the whole controversy, and I, I feel really sorry for you and the kids. I'm trying my hardest to make the life better for us. I know it's been hard, and I've been trying all day and every single day and every week to try and fix this controversy and to know that we're not bad people. We're definitely not trying hard enough. Do you know how much I'm sacrificing my time to help fix this mess? Oh, sacrificing your time? How about sacrificing my own life to protect our kids? Okay, you got me. Yeah, that that's even worse. I, I'm sorry. I can't take this anymore, Roxy. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified for the kids. But I'm also terrified for myself. Remember how you changed me from becoming a villain to a good guy to becoming a family man? Well, now everyone's going to probably see me the same way again because of you. I only did it to do the right thing. And look where it got you. Things have changed in this world, Roxy. It's not all butterflies and rainbows and everyone living in peace and harmony. People have opposite opinions about something. And what you did, a lot of people have opposite opinions and will look at you as a criminal. And now you're putting us at risk. I... I'm sorry, I... You have every right to be mad at me. I'm sorry. Just let me fix this, please. I'm sorry, Roxy. I, I can't take this anymore. I want a divorce. What? No, you, you can't be serious. Let me fix this, please. You can't. You had your chance to fix it, Roxy. No, but sh sh Sean Freddy, please. We can we can figure out something else. Just, you can't. You can't be serious about this. There's no other way of fixing what you did. We're getting a divorce. Thank you for dropping by, Junior. And I'm glad that you're here to hear what we have to say. Not a problem, guys. So, what's the problem? And also, what was that argument from down here? I can hear it from all the way upstairs. Do you want to tell him, or should I? You can if you want to. Okay. Is something wrong, Mom, Dad? Junior? Raven? We know that the past few weeks has been really rough on us and me and your father have made the tough decision to get a divorce wait what are you serious um what's a divorce big brother wait you you guys can't be serious about this come on i can't stand to see you guys get hurt emotionally scared by everything that's going on this is all happening because of your mother and what she did I get that, but like, you can't, you can't divorce her. Dad, like, you can't. Mom, mom, do something. No, he's right, Junior. I can't stand to see you guys get hurt and emotionally scared by what's going on all because of what I did. This is the only option we have to keep you and your sister safe. I mean, like, you guys have been married for 11 years. I mean, I... What? Can someone tell me what a divorce is? Raven, a divorce is when two parents split up from each other. So that means your mom and dad are going to break up and probably never see each other again. 
Wait, mom and dad are are not together? But why can't they? Because sometimes relationships don't work out, Raven. That's just the way how it is. So when are you guys gonna see your lawyer? I'll call you later today. Now, the real question is, are you too sure you want to do this? Yes. We're, we're, we're 100% sure. And you two have to make the decision on who gets who. That meaning your stuff and your children. We'll keep things fair and I'll keep whatever's mine. She can keep whatever belongs to her. And what about your children? Is it okay? Yes, it would be safer. I will be keeping Raven and Junior. And how many days would you like for them to visit their mother? We both agreed on Saturday. Very well. Let me get the papers and finalize everything so you two can sign it. Are you okay with everything? Yes. It would be safer for the two of them to be with you rather than being around me. Well, I guess, uh, this is our last night together as a family. So everything has been finalized? Yes, Junior. Everything has been set. Mom, wh when do you leave? I leave tomorrow, first thing in the morning. I packed all my stuff and... It's gonna be hard for me to leave, but... It is what it is, son. But where are you gonna stay? I told Francine about everything. She offered me to stay with her as a roommate for a while until I can find my own place to live. You're welcome to stay here as long as you want, Roxy, before you, you can find your own place to live. You know that, right? I know, and I, I really appreciate it, honey, but I I can't put you guys at risk anymore. All this is because of me, and I feel so guilty about it. Wait, so if everything's being separated in the divorce, who's staying with who? Both you and Raven will stay with your father. And when do we get to see you? Saturdays only. <laughs> it's going to be a hard decision to adjust to this, but it's the only choice we have for now. I just wish we were going to be able to see you more, Mom. I know, Junior, but this is to keep both of you guys safe from any trouble. Raven? You okay, sweetie? Raven, what's the matter? I don't want this to happen. Raven, I know it's, it's going to be hard for you, but you'll see me. It's going to be okay. This whole divorcing is stu stupid. Why can't you two just be friends? Raven, I... Raven, we're going to make it work. It's going to be okay. Why can't we all just be a, a family? Raven, we, we still are one. It's just... It's just not the same. I don't want things to change! Raven! I'll go check up on her. Raven, I just want to talk. Raven? Raven, everything's going to be alright. It's just... It's hard to take in, and this is for your own good. I'm doing this to protect you. Okay? <laughs> Raven? <laughs> Raven? <sighs> She's not in her room. What? Did she come downstairs by any chance? No, we haven't seen her. Remember Bonnie? Yes, sir. Check everywhere around the house for Raven. I'll warn the rest of the nightmares. Roxanne, let's check her room again. But she's not in there, I checked! <sighs> Raven! <sighs> I checked her closet, she's not in there! She's not hiding under the bed. Sir, we searched the entire house, even outside the perimeter. There's no sign of her. Check again otherwise. Sir, we have uh, not seen her at all. Guys? Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. No. No, 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 There's no way this is happening right now. She, she could not have gotten far, right? There's no way. Oh, God. 
Mom, Mom, are you okay? Well, she can't speak to me, come on. <sighs> She's having a panic attack. Give her some space. <sighs> it's okay, Roxy. Deep breaths. You're gonna be okay. What have I done? <sighs> Roxy, none of this is your fault. It's going to be okay. We're going to find her. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay. Deep breaths, Roxy. Try to think. It's okay. <sighs> I know who can help us. Roxy, we came here as soon as we got your call. Thank goodness you're here, Francine. I really need your help. So no one has any idea where she's at? We checked around the house, even the exterior. No sign of her. Sounds like to me she ran away from home. How, how did this all start? What, why did she run away? We don't know specifically if this... Wait. She... She was upset about the divorce. Wait, you two were getting divorced? She told me earlier today. Oh man, I don't know how we're gonna find her. If we can't find her around the house, I don't expect how we're gonna find her anywhere. We're gonna need a bigger search party. And I think I know who to call. It's great to see you again, Francine. It's great seeing you too, big brother. And thank you all for coming here to help us join for the search party and find Raven. If we find her dead, can I eat her? Shh, shut up, not the time. I'm begging all of you to please help. We'll try and look around the neighborhood and see if any of the neighbors saw her run by. I'll try to go out as far as I can go, and hopefully I'll see something. Junior and I will stay here in case she comes back by any chance. Frederick, Roxy, you're with me. We're gonna try to warn the news about an Amber Alert. Okay, okay. I'll try and use one of those security cameras on the street, see if I can find any footage of her. I'll try and call the school in case they saw her run by. I'll try and see if the Nightmares can do another search around here. I'll join the search here too. Come on, you fur. You're gonna help me print some flyers. I don't want to print out some flyers. You're gonna have to. It's the right thing to do. It's been six hours when they haven't told us anything. That's because they want nothing to do with us after what happened. Yeah, you're right. They probably didn't send out the Amber Alert. Oh, right, Frederick. We never really told you about what happened. No, I'm well aware by now. Foxy told me everything. Frederick, I'm so sorry I had to lead to this point. I, I... Nah, I think I've heard enough. I'm sorry, Frederick. Why should you be? You did the right thing. You think that? I'm uh, sure a lot of people have different opinions, but who cares? It's their problem that you did the right thing and they think otherwise. Thanks, Frederick. Have you heard any news from the other guys? I haven't checked. I can give them a call and see. None of the neighbors have seen her or heard from her. I tried asking Junior, but he doesn't know. She has to be around somewhere. We checked her school. The teachers nor the students have seen her or heard from her. Still nothing at the house. We found nothing. <sighs> I walked across the entire country of the U.S. I don't know why I did that, but just in case she was fast enough to do that, I'm tired. <sighs> oh, well, we passed out all the flyers. Anything? We're so sorry, Roxy. No one responded. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> oh gosh, she's having a panic attack. Roxy, it's okay. We're never gonna find her, and it's all my fault. We're not giving up yet, Roxy. We're going to find her. You need to stay strong and help us. You're right. You're right. <sighs> so where do we look next? I don't know. We checked the entire neighborhood, even outside of here. I don't know where she could possibly be. Wait a second. I just thought of something. Fia, remember how we always have a favorite place to go to when we're mad or angry? Yeah. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Roxanne, listen to me very carefully. Does Raven have a spot, or do you guys have a spot where you would go to get away from everything? I know where she's at. Keep looking, she has to be around here. Why was this our favorite spot? Because it was so quiet that, that it was so peaceful here. That's why Raven came here. Over here, I found her. Oh my god, my baby. Raven. Raven? I don't think she's asleep. 
Hold on, let me check her pulse. Her heart's still beating, but she's completely passed out. She probably had nothing to drink all day. It was hot for most of the morning. She's probably passed out from the heat and dehydration. Oh my god. Come on, we gotta get her home. Let's tell the rest of that we found her. Okay, come on, Raven. You're gonna be okay, sweetie. Her head's not burning up anymore. She's fine. Her pulse feels normal, too. Raven, I don't know if you can hear me, but I am so, so sorry of what I've done. I didn't mean for things to go this far. I was just only trying to protect you and your brother. But it all led to this. I'm sorry, Raven. I'm sorry. Raven? Mom? Oh my god! <laughs> We're so happy you're safe, Raven. Raven, I am so sorry we made you feel this way. I'm sorry that I ran away. I'm sorry that I made you all do this. But all I want is for us to be a family. I don't want things to change. Raven, change happens all the time. Sometimes you can't accept change. But the change is worth it most of the time. We can still be a family, Raven. Well, can you guys just be friends? Of course, Raven. Just because they're divorced, Raven. That doesn't mean they can't visit us and see each other anymore. But you know what? You two are allowed to visit Mom anytime you want. So we're still a family? Yes. Even if me and your mother are divorced. That doesn't mean we cannot be a family. And thank you all so much for helping us out. We would have never found Raven without you. You're our best friend, Roxy. Of course we will. Well, I might as well start getting my stuff together. You're welcome to visit me anytime you want, guys. But please be safe. We'll definitely try our hardest. We love you, Mom. And I love you guys, too. <laughs>